Hi everybody, I'm Carl Rafour. This year I've assisted the Arizona Department of Education with the design of Arizona's new computer science standards. And now we're creating these webinars to help teachers quickly get up to speed on the basics of computer science, those new standards, and hopefully to help you implement them in your own classrooms. This is our webinar series two, Essential Concepts. This is the fifth and final video in that series. It's titled, Impacts of Computing. There will be three different webinar series in total. Series one discussed what is computer science. This, series two, has discussed the five essential concepts of the computer science standards. Series three will discuss the integration of computer science into other disciplines. Each series of webinars will have between three and five short videos. So where are they? The approved Arizona computer science standards are available for download at the address shown on your screen. There's also a download link on the same page for the standards broken out by essential concept instead of by grade to more easily show progression through grade level. Today's takeaway. The essential concept of impacts of computing cover standards about culture, social interactions, and safety, law, and ethics. So what are these essential concepts? Well, they're categories that represent major content areas in the field of computer science. They represent specific areas of disciplinary importance rather than abstract general ideas. Each essential concept is supported by various sub-concepts that represent specific ideas within that concept. The figure on screen provides a visual representation. Each concept is color coded to differentiate it from the next. The color scheme is the same as shown on this slide. All grades are color coded in the same way, meaning that in all grades, the essential concept impacts of computing will be in gold. Impacts of computing. Culture speaks to the effect that computing has on daily life. Computing affects many aspects of the world in both positive and negative ways at local, national, and global levels. Individuals and communities influence computing through their behaviors and cultural and social interactions. And in turn, computing influences new cultural practices. An informed and responsible person should understand the social implications of the digital world, including equity and access to computing. This slide shows progression of the subconcept culture within the essential concept of impacts of computing. This particular progression shows from fifth grade through seventh grade into high school. In fifth grade, students will discuss the history of technology and how changes in technology have affected the world. This should be based on current news content. In seventh grade, students will consider how technological changes in today's society have impacted humans, both for better and for worse. In high school, students consider equity deficits and exposure to technology and how these are related to larger systemic issues in modern society. They will evaluate how they can help solve these barriers to technology. Lesson integration. In fifth grade, students can study the integration of automation into the modern workforce. A few relevant videos are listed here. The top one references a talk given by Bill Gates, talking very specifically about automation in the modern workforce. And the second on robotics is a video of the robotic section of the Tesla Roadster production facility. Very informative. Seventh grade, students could research the downfalls of cyberbullying and having your private programs or apps hacked. They could come up with a set of rules to govern how private information is transmitted and received, taking into account that the more secure information is, the slower and harder to transmit it is. In high school, on high school, technology's impact on society can't be overlooked. Neither can the fact that the divide between first world and developing nations, in technology at least, is growing ever faster. 
student could research how technology or the lack of technology helps or hinders modern societies. The relevant video that's referenced there is of a teacher in Ghana. The school system there requires students to pass a technology test. This student or this teacher has no computers and is still required to teach computing systems. He actually teaches Microsoft Word by drawing it on a chalkboard and outlining for students how each individual button acts and reacts. Modern culture tends to exclude those without access to modern tech, at least in the US, but globally too. How might your high school students change that? Today's takeaway, the essential concept of impacts of computing cover standards about culture, social interactions, and safety, law, and ethics. Folks, thank you for your time.